That's why I don't answer your texts. <laughs> Live in New York. It's a show that's just totally locked in on the prep. I haven't looked up. It's I'm first things in. first. I like it. Today, S Bob for Dallas. That means Super Bowl or bust. Why Miami that and the didn't Cowboys? Really catch on the way we had hoped. Is it Super Bowl? Time? Everybody else knows their <laughs> yeah, spot. Exactly. Uh, why Miami and the Cowboys are both fighting the same narrative? Meanwhile, Jerry Rice says Brock Purdy reminds him of a competent game manager. Just kidding. Jerry Rice says Brock Purdy reminds him of Joe Montana. We're running Montana highlights if you're on the podcast. And finally, <laughs> don't drop the ball. It's the most motivational segment in all of sports. It's a five-person bud list. Dropping the ball will be fine. Don't uh, pop it up in the air. Don't pop Remember, it. we adjusted great that. One. That's a great <laughs> We adjusted that. Uh, uh, alongside Nick Wright, I'm Kevin Wilds. Brew. Let's go. Let's go. Anyone on the bubble bud list? This is an MVP edition bud list. It's nasty. <laughs> it's not the question. I'm just letting just you know. Because the I tears thought that was better. I thought that mean, would be more doesn't interesting mean you to have the fans. To bite my style and give a bud well, list. That's not mean. biting your style. It's just, you know, we started with Dolphins versus the Cowboys, <laughs> Mike McDaniel versus the media. Miami coach wants the Dolphins locked in on the Cowboys and the Cowboys only. Take a listen. Concern yourself with. Um, the the next opponent, which for us is the Dallas Cowboys, and and any other narrative um, that has to do with good teams or um, playoff seeds or the next three game, all that stuff. Um, I, I gave them the clearance to tell all members of the media to, with all due respect. <laughs> F off. <laughs> With all due respect. <laughs> I love it. You gotta love them. Uh, both of these teams facing the same narrative. 0-3 wow. against teams that are over 500. Uh, they're putting up 14 and 17 points, even though they are high-powered offenses, while their opponents are putting up Larry Bird-esque uh, 33. Wow. So, Nick, who has more to prove, the Cowboys or the Dolphins? It's unequivocally Miami. I, I don't know if Brew agrees or not, but I'd be surprised if he doesn't. I... To me, my, the question for Dallas is, because what we showed right there is Dallas's record on the road against teams above mm-hmm. 500. They obviously have a win against Philadelphia, and I think in a couple in you know, a few days they're going to magically have a couple extra wins against teams above 500 because the Rams and the Seahawks are, I think, going to be above 500. Sure. But, again, those were not road games. And so the question for Dallas is, can they – win consistently on the road. I think it's slightly overstated, but it is a legitimate question. The question for Miami is far more basic and far more ominous. Can you beat good teams? Like that is, no matter where the game is played, can you beat good teams? Can your defense even show any resistance against competent quarterbacks? Those are real questions. And Miami this year, we can show you the quarterbacks they've beaten versus the quarterbacks they've lost to. There's one good quarterback on that list, Justin Herbert. That was week one, and the Chargers scored 34 points. Russ? The, yeah, there's one good quarterback on that list, Justin Sam Herbert. Howes. The, your, your guy, Sam and so, Howes. And, and so I think it's like reverse chronological order, but it doesn't matter about <laughs> the reason for it. I'm not sure what the, the it, order it of it. actually looks like it. The, right, the something it looks, along those yeah. lines. But regardless, for Miami, their best win this year is either against Russ or Aiden O'Connell. Right. Uh, uh, Post Herbert, I should say. And as far as team, as far as best team they've beaten, it's probably the Broncos, who are not right it, now it going to be a playoff team. Record wise, right. it is. Yeah, but and that, that team was not exactly this right. Broncos. When they beat the Broncos, the yes. Broncos were not even. So then it probably honestly is a, the the Chargers. A, I think Aiden O'Connell and the Raiders. Probably. Honest to God, no, probably. Right. And I so agree, right. Dal- I'm not acting like Dallas has no questions. But I think Dallas has proven a lot this year while they still have more to prove. I think Miami has mostly left to prove. I think Miami, we know what they are, and I think we kind of know what they're not. And so I think Dallas has – I think Miami has far more to prove. Yeah, look, I I think Dallas has more to prove than Nick does. I don't belittle their questions as much as I think you did. Um, Yes, they have to show they can win on the road. And you're right, maybe some of these teams that they beat will have winning records shortly. But still, they haven't played great against teams with winning records at this point. So they've got that to prove. But you're right, it's Miami. There's no doubt about it. And look, 
the bit about them being break dancers and, and wanting to settle disputes with dancing rather than fisticuffs. I know it's funny and all that, but I really believe that to my core. Like, I believe they're a cute, fun, flashy team, a finesse team in a league where sometimes you just got to knock a dude on his butt. Sure. And I don't know that that's them. Okay, and so to me, they have more to prove. I think Dallas, despite their troubles on the road, despite their troubles with good teams, is a tough team. I don't think they're soft. And and so if they beat Dallas, this will go a long way in making me feel a lot better about Miami. In fact, these next – the rest of the season, they got Baltimore after this and then and Buffalo. Then, uh, Buffalo. So we're going right. to find out what the Dolphins are made of. And, yeah, they got more to prove. If Miami loses – are we going to come on and be like, five alarm fire, the Dolphins lost? The, no. But if, if Dak loses this game, he would fall to 0-4 on the road against winning teams. He's averaging 6.5 yards a pass. He's got 220 passing yards. His passer rating is 78. Hold on. I feel like Dallas has more to it prove. It would be in- – Go ahead. Oh, Dallas has more to prove. I feel like yeah. Dak and Dallas have way the, more to prove. So – if one I, team I, loses, I think, it's a calamity. If Miami loses, but that's, like, that, that's, that's because we don't believe in Miami. Yeah, exactly right. Do you believe in Miami? That, I mean, that's the problem. Like, we think I Dallas it, yeah. is a legit contender. That, that, that is, Brew, Brew okay, got it so, exactly yeah, right. That, the, the reason I that, so I guess let me, let's me let follow your hypothetical mm-hmm. further. Miami beats Dallas. We think it's a calamity for Dallas. Why? Because it means we don't think they have any real chance of going on the road right. and reaching the Super Bowl. Yes. Miami beats Dallas. We – we then think, what about Miami? Same thing, that they're not going to make this. Like the, well, even, we, with, uh, even Josh Allen beat Dallas, the, and all of a sudden, like, the, hmm. now, if they beat Dallas, I'll believe more, and it will impress me. I won't think they're better than Kansas the, City or Baltimore. Right. Well, like, right. And with Dallas, me. the issue the issue with Dallas is not that you don't think they can beat Detroit. The issue with Dallas is you don't think they can beat San Francisco, yeah. and some people think they're not going to be able to beat I'm also Philadelphia. Not sure, they can beat Detroit. The, oh, well, I think the I, think I mean they got, the they got Detroit. I think they would well. <laughs> I think Detroit, what Dallas has working against it, if they play Detroit in the playoffs, is either game would be in a dome. Well, either way, it's in, you know what I mean, and that's where Detroit cooks the most. But I, but I think, big picture wise, I am more concerned by if your team struggles against a certain type of team than if your team struggles venue based. Mm-hmm. And what we can't say about Dallas is they can't play well against the A-list quarterbacks. Both these teams have beaten Justin Herbert, but Dallas also beat Matt Stafford's team. They beat uh, Geno Smith. It's not an A-list quarterback, but a good quarterback. Mm-hmm. And they've played, in my Jaylen opinion, Hurts. very well against Jalen both times. And so, that to, to me, Dallas has the personnel and the, the road game stuff. The reason I said it's slightly overblown is, I understand it's last season, but it's the same people. We saw the Cowboys go on the road and blow out the Bucks in a playoff game. The team was not that, good. Okay, but it's still a road yeah, playoff I, I, game I, I, that they I'm, won I'm by 30 points. That team was no good. The, that was a bad Buccaneers team. The, but they weren't the 8-9. No, I understand. Bucks, I, yeah. I guess, but again, I'm sorry. I don't want to be redundant here. But isn't the part of the Cowboys' concern that they're going to be on the road in round one of the playoffs against what a Buccaneers team? Not round and so, one. So you're not worried about them in round one, against no matter Tampa what the road. Okay. I know you guys love Baker the, Mayfield, but no, no, I'm worried about the, S. Bob. Okay. I Got know it. y'all think winning the playoff game is going to be impressive. S. Bob. Okay. And that's what the problem is with them being on the road. And if and what does the last B and Bob mean? The bus. What would happen then? What? What? It, it's like your must win. You of all people should. Oh, he checked is, in is, you. Is must oh, win like? Oh my bro. gosh, the season's over. They're no. done. They no. gotta stop playing. No. Then neither is bus. <laughs> bro, <laughs> it's taken you. 16 weeks. But I mean, you I was it. saving it. For yeah. when but no, really, did you know when that? When that, you really that, got that, I've, always, I've just been on your side, so I haven't wanted nah, to he, use he it. He tried to muscle up and sun me. He tried to sun me. So I said, you know what? It's time. It was the opposite. I was asking a legit. Question. Well done. Well what done. is going on? Had that Thank coming. You.